To help explain what I'm doing while I'm riding around the circuit, I've created a riding line. What I'm doing on this line is demonstrated by the line being in different colours. You naturally end up on the left hand side, late tipping, late apex, because of a curb on your left hand side. The effect of this is it tends to push you out a little in towards the middle of the track, certainly away from the left hand side of the track. As you come to the tipping point, you'll certainly need to ease back on the throttle and even perhaps a slight dab of brakes. Either way, by the time you get to the apex, which isn't obvious because there's no curb there, once again pick up the throttle The ideal scenario to be, as you pass where you come out onto the track, is to be approximately in the middle of the track as you're approaching the braking area. This then gives you a straight line braking approach right the way down to the hairpin, turn one. Late apex, and then drive up onto the back straight. Entering and leaving the circuit is dependent on which club are running the specific event. One way onto the circuit is from the bottom end of the main paddock runway between turn eight and turn nine. There's a holding area there and you'll let out onto the circuit and then go straight into turn nine and over the start finish line. If you're leaving the circuit using the main pit lane entrance, going down the back straight towards turn eight, you're again right on the racing line. So carry good speed round turn eight, obviously signal with your hand up or leg out and keep over to the right and dart off into the pit lane before you get to the last corner. Obviously, all these instructions will be at the riders' meeting. 